Welcome back to another episode of I'm an Idiot. <laughs> uh, since last time, I made this little farm um, because I realized that since food is going to be a lot scarcer, um, I'm assuming, well, there's no animals that you can kill um, that I'm seeing, that it would be a good idea to probably make a bread farm. I also make myself some golden apples, like I mentioned doing in the previous episode, because I think golden apples will make, make up for the lack of saturation healing. Anyway, turns out this cave is a little more than a cave. It turns out to be a ravine, and there's still <laughs> I always jump off there. This scared me. Um, turns out there are skeletons down there that actually tried to shoot at me even while I was all the way up here, so... Skeletons can definitely see you from a long ways away, um, which I don't like. I also made myself a water bucket with the three iron I had left. Um, yeah, you can see, I don't think they can even, their arrows can even reach that high. Maybe. Anyway, there's a nice little alcove right there, so let's hop down in there. Um, this footage is only sped up. 150%. Again, this is post-commentary because I'm an idiot, and apparently if you have headphones in, you can't talk and have it record with how my setup is. It's one of the perks of being a low-end, just making video for fun without really, without really making sure there's too much, like, I don't know. It's it's not my job, and I don't intend for it ever to be my job. I know there are a lot of aspiring people who are like, I want to make it on YouTube. I'm not really one of them. Uh, I would I definitely want to be able to upload videos and just kind of do it for fun. But um, yeah, it turns out there's spawner down here. Um, but yes, I st still <laughs> tend to run into problems. Um, uh, the software I have. Anyway, it turns out there are more zombies than I think. Um, so, this game is actually pretty big, and I started to get overwhelmed for a second. Um, but luckily, <laughs> despite some lag, um, I got myself some cookies to heal myself back up after defeating them. Um, anyway, some more iron down there. Uh, so, I'll mine that up. Um, Again, I tend to have a pretty good idea of what's going through my head when I watch my own stuff, which I don't do often, but, um, I don't know, I'm a little bit weird like that. Anyway, um, I'm like, my spider didn't see me, but he also didn't die in one shot, so that made up for it. I'm not sure why, I, I think that level of loot, or that level of Bane of Arthropods on an axe should have been enough to one-shot him, but... Maybe I was mistaken, and he wasn't... Maybe I wasn't fully charged. Anyway, um... Get some anvils. A lot of anvils. Um... I think... I don't know, I think there may even be too many anvils. Um... <laughs> there's some more gold. Um... I mean, it's like, well... I could keep on exploring this area. But now that I've gotten some more iron and some more gold, I think it's probably best to not. Um, I also come to the conclusion I had, I was kind of thinking before, is iron much rarer or harder to find? Because I think that was only a third patch of iron I'd found. Um, I don't think it is. Um, I think... It may be different from vanilla Minecraft, but I don't think it's any significantly different from the previous versions of this map, um, which is the more important part. Um, don't want to get stuck down there. Anyway, there's a cave kind of going back up, so... Rather than pushing my luck and dying and losing all my stuff, I think it would be better to head out and live to explore another day. Um, I'm trying to think if I can think of a rhyme about being brave 
another day to explore the cave. I don't know. I'll think of I'll think of one later. <laughs> I like puns. Um, yes. So turns out it's just a normal little patch. Um, I think my base is right to the left. I think it qualifies as a base. Um, me debating whether my base qualifies as base is also what I do in this part of the particular video itself. So I'm staying on track most of the time. Um, one of the things that does suck though, um, I mean a lot of things suck about losing the audio, but it, I, I can't really capture that real emotional reaction I had. I can definitely try to explain it, but I can't. It, it's just not the same, and I do notice that some in I notice that a lot actually in videos that have post commentary in them, and like don't necessarily say that they have post commentary, um, and that kind of makes that makes it seem a little bit unauthentic, and I can I feel unauthentic doing this, but um, I think it's better than having no audio at all. Anyway, um. Decide, yeah, let's make another furnace. Uh, we want to smelt up this gold, and also, I don't want to wait for everything to smelt. Um, so now I've got enough to make pans. I just put a protection one book on my chest plate, and I decide to opt for a projectile protection three on my pants over a protection one. Um, I think projectile protection three would overall overall do more in ways of actual protection than um, just a protection one but would um yeah let's see throw some efficiency on that iron sharpness on the sword let's see in kind of dull areas like this um i'm i'm kind of unsure as to what i was saying or have said in the past <laughs> um yeah finally i decided to do my typical anvil spam so me being organized lasted all of about one and a half episodes, or one and a uh, quarter episodes, maybe. Um, as I realized I could make gold pants, um, or gold boots rather, like gold is a viable armor source, but I think it's more valuable as a food item, kind of ironically. Anyway, after some bone mealing, um, I actually realized Potatoes would be brilliant. Um, I have a fortune book sitting around, and if I were to get a potato from a random drop, um, fortune actually works on potatoes. Um, oh, the quality is dying a bit. Not sure what's going on. Anyway, fortune actually works on potatoes and carrots. Um, it also works on beetroot seeds and normal seeds but not wheat or beetroot. Um, anyway, so baked potatoes could be, if I get them, if I had access to them, I think they will be my main source of food in the future. But of course that's all dependent on a zombie um, deciding to drop what he does. Another thing is, I think I think I put a fortune book on a pickaxe because you can actually punch out crops with a pickaxe and things, and they don't lose any durability, um, which I think is kind of weird, but also kind of neat. Um, so a fortune 3 pick could double as get more coal, get more diamonds from stuff like that, but also get more food, which is, I think, going to be very useful. I do have a lot of apples, but they aren't the best for saturation. Um, I'm also running low on storage, so we made to set ourselves a couple more chests. Um, I try to stay organized-ish. It gets kind of messy, but I fix it up a bit later. Anyway, I'm actually preparing to venture out into the night. Um, now that I've had protection books, I feel a lot better about um, kind of taking the initiative and going out. Uh, Especially looking for a green beacon. I don't think I'm quite ready to enter the green beacon yet, though. Um, so, if I do find one, I will probably just kind of take note of it. Um, 
I'd like to be as prepared as possibly possible <laughs> because I've had I've already had a couple of low heart experiences where I could have died. Um, anyway, oh yes, I'm, I'm like I feel like something's missing, and what's missing is the map. Um, seeing that south is mostly water on that overview map, I said, yeah, let's head to the west to the farlands. Um, <laughs> that's actually what I say in the video too. Wow, I'm I'm <laughs> sort of impressed. I'm. Maybe I maybe this is all scripted. Maybe I'm just memorizing lines being fed to me. In any case, there's a tree on fire over there, so I decide there could be lava over there, and I would like to find um lava because there's probably going to be one of those fern fern in there. Anyway, I notice the lava, but it's pretty far away from this. I speculate that it could, probably could have been a forest fire um, to have spread through this grass, or maybe there's an oak tree here that kind of transferred upwards, and that's why the leaves are gone. Um, in any case, note that we're still in a savanna. Um, so I'm thinking, wow, okay, uh, let's drop this, smite one, close enough. Um, and I head out just a little bit further, see a creeper, and boom! It, <laughs> there's another time where I get jump scared. Uh, since rain doesn't fall on desert blocks or desert or savanna, um, it actually doesn't spawn lightning there because they need, lightning needs rain falling on a block to hit the block. Um, so I'm really actually pretty honored. I wasn't sub I wasn't expecting that at all to um that lightning would that thunderstorm would appear uh, crossing the daylight border. That's something I requested for a map. Um and I know the creator was doing a lot of testing uh, regarding thunderstorms, but um I'm glad to see it in this incarnation of the map. Um there's a skeleton horse over there, actually. Hopefully. Oh, I should I should have turned off particles. Especially on playback. This is killing the frame, uh, killing the um quality. Anyway. Yeah, like probably couldn't even see the chest I was going for. Anyway, alphabet banners. I'm like, whoa. There's uh, what could those be? I mean I kinda know what those are, but um I liked it. Get knocked off the tree by a zombie. It's so cinematic. Uh, it's already kind of put me into a mood like, woohoo, like kind of almost giddy with <laughs> uh, the prospect of this challenge. But um, yes, I know some people in the past have talked about steak being too overpowered, so I like that this map incorporates ideas from several members of the community to make things harder. Anyway, I have the great idea of fighting the skeletons. Um, he just shoots himself there, which is kind of funny. Uh, turns out the idea of isolating them didn't work. <laughs> I thought I was going after one, but it turns out the others were just following me. Their skeletons are actually very good at what they do, riding their horses around. Um, so I know, I'm not sure if this is particularly true, but in my experience, I've had good luck getting drops from these skeletons. Um, namely the Protection 1 helmets and the bows as well. One of the other skeletons just finished. They finished each other off over there. Um, so I decide if it could possibly give me a bow, I think it's worth... Um, it's worth fighting them. So this guy, this water guy, runs around. Um, I experienced a little bit of lag and such. I thought that was a bow for a second. I missed the curve of the pickaxe as a bow. Um, and I thought I'm done. No, there's still still one more guy. Um, I started. Re I realized uh, I probably shouldn't have killed that one horse. I did because horses would be good for travel. I also killed that one on accident. But um, there's always one horse that spawns that has 26 hearts. 
I think it's always 26 hearts, but it's always a large number of hearts, and luckily that happens to be one of the ones that survived the clash. So I'm going to push him into this little cave, um, and just kind of make sure he can't get away. I'm not sure if they will despawn now that I think about it, but I blocked them in there anyway. And then, like, uh, like the genius I am, just walk into it. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, up on the trees, um, while I was up on the trees, probably was not apparent from this video, um, because of the poor playback quality, um, I noticed there's a chest on top of the tree, but I also noticed some lights coming from a wall, and there's also water around it, so I know there's one of the, one of the, um, bonus stained glass loot chests right over there. Uh, wow, for really hard to see. I know there's one that does involve a waterfall, um, and light being in a waterfall, so I decided to go investigate. Um, also double check the passive mob. I still haven't found the passive mob that gives different drops. Um, I feel like it could be a bat and I just got unlucky, um, because I feel like I've killed the least amount of bats in the series in terms of passive mobs. Um, yes. So yeah, I realized, yeah, there probably is a chest up there. Um, I was actually thinking about how likely it was that a creeper would get struck by lightning. Uh, I think that's pretty unlikely. It's a lot more likely that skeleton horse traps will spawn and that kind of thing. Um, so that that's going to be where the main challenge comes from. Uh, but it turns out there's some more cool loot chests in those books, um, or in those chests. Chest within chest. That's why it's weird. Um, I'm not used to saying it. But, um, yeah, actually, completely overlooked for a second that there's another one of those chests. Uh, there are actually two water chests spawned right next to each other. Um, I see it now, and I'm like, well, that's weird. Um, one of the other things I'd like to mention is Podsold gives a very nice and ominous aesthetic. I really like it. Um, I think mycelium also would give a nice aesthetic, but obviously it can't spawn mobs, so that wouldn't quite work for a map like this. Um, that doesn't really rely on spawners for a majority of the difficulty, at least outside of the monuments. Um, so yep, I noticed there's some spectral arrows in there, so <laughs> uh, I know in the playthrough with Dr. Brian Lordon, Cthulhu, and Sirtas. Uh, Brian made spectral arrows, and those were fun to watch. So I suspect that may have something to do with why they appear in this chest. Um, I'm also decide, hey, I'm going to take advantage of the center chest. Sorry about that, had to take just a break. Um, yeah, so that's where I think spectral arrows came from. I also decide, hey, maybe it would be a good challenge to try and get all the music discs. Um, I don't think anyone's tried to do that in this series yet. So, I thought it might be fun. It's also probably not a good idea. <laughs> um, yes, also a lot of fireworks. A lot of wood. I don't think I'll ever need to mine wood again. But yes, that... Turns out it actually is a one-time use pickaxe now, so a little bit sad that that got changed, but definitely for the better. Um, not really is what it says it is. <laughs> um, yes, mushrooms, so I think yeah, I'll probably collect some of those mushrooms. Um, let's see. Trying to get my train of thought back. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, kind of just deciding where to go now. See, right over there, so 
I'm thinking, is it a mesa or is it a desert? Or a mesa or a, not desert, <laughs> a nether biome. Um, turns out it's a nether biome. Um, I tried to check to see what it used to be, but obviously you can't do that. Um, Solid lightning strike flare, and that's pretty neat. Uh, don't want to go down there. I was afraid of there being blazes. Um, but yes, I'm not sure if this has just been the case always, and because I do tend to avoid, I don't typically go into the nether biomes that much. Um, but I do, I do cut through here this time. I'm not sure if they've they're always this big, or if the size of the nether biomes just got increased for this uh, map, but it definitely is pretty, pretty huge. You'll see once I go over this hill, it goes on a lot to the north, I believe. Nope, I'm looking southwest. Anyway, totally nailed that bat to set, return to sender. I'm like, have I ever killed a gas before in this series? And then I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> There's like a ton of gas at the mountain peak with our mountain peak chest. So that was my little brain fart. Um, yes, I'm also wondering how, I, since I don't think I've killed pigmen before in the survival portion, um, I'm also wondering what kind of stuff they draw, and especially wondering if it's possible to one-shot them so they don't get angry. Uh, if you have a Smite 5 sword, or rather an axe. Um, okay. That's the first kind of chunk loading weirdness that I've experienced. Turns out there's a teleporter right there. Um, Creeper also wants to stop me from getting this chest, and he, he does his best, but doesn't quite work out. Um, I think Arthropod's 5. I noticed my axe is getting pretty worn out, so I take it. I'm not sure. I, the gold nugget confused me a bit. Um, I'm not sure what that does um, or what that's worth, but I mean, might as well um, take it. I'm not sure if there's something weird. I don't know. I just found it a little weird that that was and the first item in the loot chest. Um, yes, I also realized I put all my apples in my inner chest, so I don't have any food. Um, so luckily there's that teleporter nearby. Um, which, by the way, I didn't even notice the path blocked leading up to it until I got there. Um, unfortunately. Because <laughs> I'm dumb, but... No, uh, I think mostly because I went through the hell biome and the red sandstone stairs are much harder to spot than uh, path blocks in grass. Um, anyway, just refresh myself on the teleporter. Um, yes, I do end up needing to relock because I, I think I actually end off the episode at that point, but um, and then fix. Then I fixed the, <laughs> the audio issue. But yes, it's time to clear out my ender chests, not starve to death. I was worried a little bit that my first death in this series would be starving to death. I um, wonder if anyone's done that before. Probably. <laughs> um, and yes, so we've already been making a good amount of progress on the stained glass uh, monument. Um, we didn't end up finding a drain beacon, though, which isn't good, obviously. Um, but we did learn a lot about how this map works in particular. Um, I'm not sure if I really ever finished what I was saying earlier. Like, I was pretty honored that the lightning thing got put into the this map in particular. Um, but also that I think it's kind of a mashup of a lot of things that people from the community have suggested to make it harder. Um, 
you know, I didn't really think about food, but I know there are some people who thought steak was overpowered. And obviously that's reflected in the podzol here. Um, I like the um, idea of having lightning outside the world border, so I'm glad that was entered. Um, in the future, I will turn off my particles so that it doesn't go nuts um, on playback um, and even recording. That would probably help. Um, I'm anxious, really anxious to get a bow now because we've got all the school got spectral arrows. Um, how are we going to miss the music? Uh, I decided to play music while... <laughs> oh right, now I remember what I do. <laughs> this is going to be weird. Um, I start bobbing my cursor to the music. Uh, yep. Yeah, and then I then it's in time, I swear. <laughs> anyway, did a little dance, and whoa, look at all of this stuff. I was not expecting to see stats of colors and six C fours when I opened the chest, so. <laughs> I was like, whoa, um, I think it's kind of funny. My mind goes on a little train of thought. Okay, skeleton heads and zombie heads and creeper heads aren't rare anymore. Um, I kind of wanted to try to get one naturally. Um, but that's probably not going to work. Um, so I think it's pretty rare that I even find a charged creeper. But then uh, that got me thinking if there were somehow wither skeletons would finding the wither be worth it? But yes, I find these banners. Um, they all have the alphabet on them. And I think I have a shield pretty much nearly exactly like this banner um, in my FERL series. Um, but seeing Cthulhu, Sirkaz, and Lordon do this in their playthrough, I think that's also another thing that got added <laughs> um for sure i was just messing around and having and in your initials on shields i think is really funny um anyway i'm just messing around i decided to make a random a random pattern no nothing in particular but i'm actually surprised that mojang lets you place banners in that kind of invalid location I mean, it's neat for sure, but it seems a little bit counterintuitive to me. Um, anyway, and there's all those banners, so no matter what your name starts with, you can make an awesome shield. Um, and yes, record stopped. Uh, I do, I believe I already did just a little bit of inventory management. The game the sub-game of Minecraft, as it's sometimes called. Anyway, sort those back. Uh, celebrate with some fireworks, which should also be perfect for my frame right here. Um, <laughs> whoo, yeah. It's rough. Um, yes. Anything else? Yeah, I think I'm going to wait to put that Efficiency 3 book after I get another Efficiency 2 book. To make efficiency four instead of kind of wasting that already enchanted pit. Um, and then I think, yeah, I better grab my axe and make a new move arthropods axe to hopefully prevent a silverfish Armageddon. I've noticed that a lot of people call, they either say a silverfish Armageddon or a silverfish apocalypse a lot of the time. and <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. Um, there's that floating chest. I decided to leave it there. Just because it's kind of funny that all the leaves decayed, but the chest is still there. Anyway, it's probably a good idea to get some health boost. Um, I've already been at low heart situations several times. Um, and half a heart, three hearts, two hearts, stuff like that. Um, so having more health will be awesome definitely help survive out there. Um, because I've had some close stalls. 
still that slow, so <laughs> we'll see we'll see how long that lasts. Um, anyway, I believe I was just going to reload, but then after seeing how long the episode was getting, I decided I'll cut it off there. However, now everything is weird. Anyway, this episode was at 150%, so just 50% faster. And there it goes, looping to the beginning. Anyway, once again, I apologize for how weird these two episodes have been. Hopefully in the future, they will be better, and you will get more authentic reactions out of me. Overall, I'm really enjoying this map so far, um, this version of the map so far. So stay tuned for more. Thank you.